In this video, I'm gonna take the brand new 2022 Audi S8 and make it feel a little more stately, a little more in line with the first generation Audi S8. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you the first generation and then compare it to the current generation S8 from the front and the rear. And then we're gonna jump into Photoshop and redesign it to be a little bit more horizontal and stately in the front end. The 2022 Audi S8 comes with 563 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, twin turbo V8 with quattro all-wheel drive, of course, as standard, which is typical for the S8. It's a big sedan, however, compared to the regular A8, the S8 suspension is set up for sharper handling and is also fitted with massive 21-inch wheels. The top speed is limited in a traditional way to 150 55 miles per hour. However, the S8 will get you there pretty fast. Zero to 60 is completed in an impressive 3.2 seconds. And just think about 3.2 seconds and the proportions of this thing is pretty impressive. And this is all thanks to the traction of the all-wheel drive quattro system and a quick eight-speed automatic transmission. The S8 is still mainly a discreet luxury saloon car. However, underneath you'll find parts fitting a sports coupe with equipment such as torque vectoring rear differential and rear wheel steering as well just as we have in the new S class and this is all for a quicker and better handling in addition you can option for powerful carbon ceramic brakes as well so you can turn this into a proper performance car if you want to the inside of the S8 is filled with the most up-to-date tech such as touchscreens for the control climate audio and navigation you also get a 12.3 inch virtual car Cockpit, digital gauge cluster, a 10.1 inch upper infotainment system, and also in addition to these two screens, you have an 8.6 inch lower display as standard, along with Apple CarPlay, of course, and Android Auto, and an onboard Wi Fi hotspot. The Audi A8, and more specifically the S8, has always felt like the more discreet alternative when it comes to the big lug German luxury sedans, the BMW 7 series and the S class. It doesn't really need to shout about what it is. It's like Usain Bolt in an Armani suit. It's very civilized but always ready to drop a gear and disappear quicker and quieter than most competitors. So what we're gonna do now is I want to show you the first generation S8. To me that's always gonna be up until now at least the, the most beautiful S8 because of its simplicity and also of course because it was the star of the movie Ronin if you remember that car chase with a Citroen. It was a fantastic movie and the car chase just makes the entire movie in my opinion. So here we have the brand new 2020 2022 Audi S8 and right off the bat when I look at this specific package here this is not the S line package this is the regular S8 and what I think about this when we look at the front view and the trim on this design it looks too much like an Audi A8 when it comes to the trim and it looks too much like a regular Audi A4 when it comes to the styling of the graphics. The proportions are still there. We have this beautiful shoulder line right here as you can see continuous line going from the rear end all the way to the front end and this is in my opinion crucial if you want to have the flagship sedan. It needs to have a very strong shoulder and I think all three big German saloons do this very well, the 7 Series and the Mercedes S-Class. But on top of that we have this quattro feel of the fenders and what I mean by that is you see this line going here from the front headlight and then into the body sitting a little lower than the uh, continuous shoulder line right there and we have the same thing in the rear end. So this is almost like a integrated uh, wide body kit for the S8. Very subtle but still makes it look a lot more powerful and it kind of emphasizes the quattro four-wheel drive system by having those arches above both wheel axles. So there's nothing wrong with the proportions here but what I don't like about the S8 is first of all in this version right here which is not as I said not the S line and of uh, and the styling of the front end graphics. First of all let's talk about the S line package. We're gonna pop in that right here. So this is the S line package down there and you can see that all the chrome bits right here they turn into black trim instead of the chrome and I think this that suits the S8 specifically a lot more than having it be chrome. Chrome this I think should be only for the A8. If you're buying an S8 you want it to be the sportier version and I think automatically in my opinion the S8 should only come with this black trim but at the same time I understand that it's the luxury sedan. Some people just want to be more discreet uh, than, uh, than 
than having an S-Line package and that means blending it more with the A8 and that might turn some people on to turning to to choosing this package with the chrome trim and I'm not sure about this these pieces right here this is what kind of confuses me when it comes to the S8 because it is biggest sedan that Audi has and I think when you have the biggest sedan you want to dial back the styling and the graphics in the front end specifically and have it be very stately and what I mean by that is having it be more horizontal in the front end specifically for the S8 the A4 and the A3 and the A6 you can have a lot more fun when it comes to styling and you can make stuff like this wings popping up in the bumper but I don't think it's suitable for the S8 I'm gonna let you know why right now well, looking at the first generation S8 which I said is my favorite and most beautiful I think this is a fantastic design because of the simplicity and it looks like it is powerful and it knows what it is without shouting about it as I said in the beginning and it also looks subtle and discreet but underneath you have the 340 horsepower engine and the quattro all-wheel drive right here and specifically in black I'm gonna show you this in the rear view as well one of my favorite views of this car but looking at the front front end here you can see that everything is in line everything right here the front end graphics is in line with the for example the headlights are in line with the grille and then the lower part right here also in line with all the graphics down there and then we have a traditional bumper where you can house the uh, the license plate right there super simple and elegant design but we still have this sharp shoulder line going from this point right here then into the corner of the headlight right here at this point and I think this just creates a elegant beautiful and most of all stately s8 and this is the approach or the design that I want to implement in the new S8 right here. So what we're going to do now is try to take some cues from this and make it more horizontal and a little bit, bit more bossy in the front end. Not so much styling in the front end. You see these LEDs as well. There's a lot going on in the front end of the S8. I want to dial it down a little bit and emphasize the luxury aspect of this design and what that means to me. We don't need a big grill like this. I know that's Audi's design language at the moment, but I want to see what happens if we just reduce the grill size to something like this so we remove all this create a proper bumper right here and then lower this part to be almost in line with maybe some lower part of the of the grill so we don't have this sticking out and intruding into the bumper so far up here this makes it actually look smaller than what it is if we have more horizontal lines and connection in the front end graphics it's gonna make this essay look like the big brother uh, in the lineup so let's quickly have a look at the rear view and this is where I think Audi is doing a fantastic job even with the new S8. This looks super clean. You can see here, compare this to the front view. Here, there's a lot going on. You have this dip and angle in the headlights. You have these uh, angles in the grill and then you have this sticking up, not connecting to anything in the grill. Same thing with this line, doesn't really connect with anything in the grill and this line as well. Looking at the rear view though, we have a lot of connection going from one point, one side to the other. And this is what creates a stately design. It's I talked about before you have this light bar or whatever this is a chrome piece in the non s line trim then you have the bump the bumper itself straight line very simple and this beautiful small little ducktail integrated in the body right there and the diffuser as well very clean looking and it looks even better in the s line package right here where I think even the tail lights are a little smoked out this obviously looks so much better at least in my opinion if you're gonna have an s8 you need to have it in the s line package if you choose the non S line, you might as well, uh, at least from a design stand standpoint, you might as well go with the regular A8 because this looks a lot like the A8. And I think the A8 in the S line package looks better than the S8 in a non S line package, if that makes sense. So looking at the first generation S8 down here, I, what I love about this design when I was a kid, I remember it still today, I loved these taillights. And the reason for that is they sit so flush with the body it's like they are a part of the sculpting of the body you can't even see almost the cut lines here i think the the tolerances for this design feature the graphic feature are so tight that it makes it look like it's part of the sheet metal itself these taillights and on top of that you have these red in combination with the black it just looks really really good red and black it, it, as a combo always work really well and it does so here in the original s8 as well we're gonna do now we're gonna take this design right here work on it and try to make it feel like the original s8 
as I said, that's going to be more horizontal lines in the front end. Clean up the front end, dial the graphics back. We don't need to stylize every single model of the lineup, specifically when we come into the luxury and big brother models of the lineup. We need to dial it back a little bit. So let's get started with that and see how this is going to turn out. Talking about the three major German uh, sedans, the of course the 7 Series and you have the Mercedes S-Class and the Audi A8. Between the three, I think the Audi S8 is the, or the A8 slash S8 is the one you would choose if you want, if you don't wanna shout about what it is you're driving because it is a super discreet design and it's been like this throughout the generations, even up until today. As you can see in the front end, as I showed you, it looks almost like an oversized A4, which could be good. And it, that's the same case when we go back to the nine, uh, late 90s and early 2000s. They still looked a lot like the A4, just in a big size but what happened back then is that it, it became a little more boxy and a little more horizontal and clean compared to the A4. The A4 looks a little bubbly when you look at it the, the first generation A4 and that's what I think we can implement here as well in the new generation. We want to take of course the the DNA of Audi and we want to implement that in the front end of the S8 but as I said we need to make it stand out a little more from the rest of the lineup because this is is the boss of the lineup and we need to make it feel bossy by re reducing styling cues in the front end and the graphics and focus more on uh, functionality of the graphics instead of just adding styling curves and features graphic features to make it look cool that's to me what makes the the biggest saloon stand out from the rest of the lineup overall i think the the new s8 is a really really cool design but as i said you need to go with the s line package having it non s line it, it just loses the s8 vibe to it in my opinion and i think the blacked out trim pieces and specifically the the smoked out tail lights just adds so much to the S8 design and sets it apart even more from the original A8. So what, what I'm doing right here is I want to connect the, the grill and have the line have some more line flow in the front end. So I want to have the top of the LED, the daytime running lights of the light, have them be connected with the top part of the grill. And then we have this line in the existing 2022 uh, Audi A8 and S8, that line that cuts underneath the headlights, but it doesn't really go anywhere in the original. So I want I want to have that go and meet the lower corner of the grill so we have some flow some framing of the front half of the grill and then we have some framing in the lower part of the grill as well with the new newly designed air intake with the fog light as well that I'm gonna redesign here in this in this video and last but not least I'm not gonna touch the side because I love the side view of this I love the sharp clean shoulder line and on top of that the two little uh, additional shoulders or fender muscles both in the rear and the front which emphasizes the quattro four-wheel drive system what I want to do though is plant it a little better so if I were to buy this car, I would probably switch out the wheels and tires to make them fill out the wheelhouses more and better. I'm not a huge fan of these original wheels, but I'm going to keep it just for the sake of it and just increase the size by maybe one diameter and then have them be, of course, fl almost flush with the bodywork to create this powerful stance specifically in the rear end. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Sketch Monkey, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.